پاکستانی مسلم امڈریڈ پرسینٹ اینڈ دے آر ویری امپورٹینٹ ویری امپورٹینٹ اے سرٹن ٹائپ آف ہپوکرائٹس دے آر بینگ ڈسکرائب ہیئر دیر آر ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف ہپوکرائٹس ڈفرینٹ لیولس ڈفرینٹ گریڈس ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس ناؤ ون پرٹیکولر ٹائپ آف ہپوکرائٹس دے آر بینگ ڈائگنوسڈ ہیئر وٹ واز دی ریزن وائی دے بیکیم منافق ومن ہوں مناحد اللہ امنگ دم آر دوز ہو ہے دے کوویننٹ ود اللہ لائن آتا نا من فضلہ ہی اف اللہ گیوز اس فرام ہز باؤنٹی ہی میکس اس رچ ویلڈی لنس صدقن وی شیل گیو چیریٹیز اینڈ آرمز اینڈ وی شیل سپینڈ دیٹ منی فار دی پلیئر آف اللہ Hoarding. Matawallah. And they turned their faces. Wahum waridun. And they were averse. Fa'aqabahum nifaq. Now this aqaba. Uqubat. Shadeedul iqab. This is a punishment. So Allah punished them. Fa'aqabahum nifaqan fi qulubihim. And this is a punishment that nifaq. The seeds of nifaq and hypocrisy have been sowed in their hearts. This is the punishment that they have got in this world. فَآقَبَهُمْ نِفَاقًا فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ إِلَىٰ يَوْمَ يَلْقَوْنَهُ I shiver at these words when I apply these words to the Pakistani Muslim nation. May Allah save us from that. That this nifaq will remain until they meet their Lord on the Day of Judgment. They will not be rid of it. فَعَقَبَهُمْ نِفَاقًا فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ يَوْمَ يَلْقَوْنَ إِلَىٰ يَوْمَ يَلْقَوْنَهُ بِمَا أَخْلَفُ اللَّهَ مَا وَعَدُوهُ Due to their going back on their words, the which promise they had made with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَبِمَا كَانُوا يَقْزِبُونَ And because of their telling the lie, they never intended what they were saying at that time. لَا تَعَنَ اللَّهُ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ لَا تَنَصَّدَّقَنَّ وَلَنَكُنَنَّ مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ These words are 100% applicable to the Muslim Ummah. We prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At least I was. In my early youth, I was a high school student. When I, I was an active worker of Muslim Students Federation. I was also a worker of Pakistan movement. I was General Secretary of Hisar District Muslim Students Federation. One of the two delegates who went to the conference, very big conference which was held in Lahore. Habibi Hall of Islamia College in 1946, in which from every district of Punjab, only two delegates were invited. And I was one of the two from the district of Hisar, which is now in Haryana. So we know how we were praying, crying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, save us. Deliver us from the slavery of the Britishers and also save us from the coming slavery of the Hindus. And we shall establish your deen. We shall make Pakistan, you know, a cradle of Islamic civilization, a lighthouse, an example for the whole of humanity that this is the just social order. This is the real mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has given the just social order, the political, social, economic system based on justice, fair play, equity. That is it. So that is the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he gave this just social order through Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But what we have done, we went back upon our words. We took to the luxuries, only worldly pursuits. So this is 
going back on the promise of Allah subhanahu wa I have written a book, Istikam e Pakistan, and I have proved that it was just a miracle, the establishment of Pakistan, coming to, into being of Pakistan. Nobody could hope it. Even the top most Muslim League leaders, they thought that it is just a bargaining tactic. We are demanding this, but maybe we settle for less. And Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah settled for less when he accepted the cabinet mission plan that India will remain one, which will be composed of three zones with one central government. Three zones will be there for 10 years. But after 10 years, every zone will have a right to secede. That was the plan for at least 10 years. Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah had gone back from his demand of an independent Pakistan. But Allah gave no take independent Pakistan. For then we shall see what you do. Whether you prove true to your words or you go back. Now what is this nifaq that we are having today? <coughs> Number one, which I call nifaq bahami Disunity. Nifaq. The nation dissolved into nationalities. It was one nation. Now it stands dissolved and divided into nationalities. And number two, the crisis of moral values. There are two ahadis, very important. Both are muttafaqun alayh. According to the one, the Prophet said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which is narrated by Abu Hurairah, radiallahu anhu, ayatul munafiq salasun, iza haddasa kathibah. These are the three signs, three symptoms of the disease of nifaq. Whenever he speaks, he tells a lie. Whenever he makes a promise, he breaks it. Whenever he is trusted, he betrays the trust. And you know, this hadith in the Sahih of Imam Muslim has additional words. Wa in sama wa salla wa zaman nahu muslimun. If such a person, he prays and he, you know, keeps fast and he thinks himself to be a Muslim, but he is a Munafi 100%. And we can look to our society. Whosoever is, how, ever, how much higher he is placed, the more he is dishonest, the more he is a liar, the more important among, amongst, the more important people are, the more they are, they have the, the, these three qualities. So this is actually the diagnosis. Fihe zikrukum. There's an ayah in Surah al -Anbiya. We have sent down our book. And in this book, your mention is also present. And there's the hadith from the Prophet ﷺ, narrated by Hadrat Ali, that the Prophet once said, there's, there's going to be a very big tribulation, very big fitna. Inna ha satakuna fitna Tarmai. Ali says, Razi Allah ta'ala anhu, I asked, minha, ya What will be the way out? What will be the exit from that fitna? And then the Prophet replied, Kitabullah, Fihi khabaru ma qablakum, wa nabaw ma baadakum, wa hukmu ma baynakum. The only way to get out from fitna is this book of Allah. It contains the news of the people who were before you. And it contains the news of those who will be coming after you. And it contains the judgment and final word, final verdict in all the disputes which may arise among you. So these three ayat, every Pakistani Muslim should make it a point to remember them. Because they 100% apply to us, not to other countries. Other countries existed as such before. Before they were taken by the colonialists, then, you know, they, they were just freed. But Pakistan's case is absolutely different. It was a new country which came into existence. So actually, and it was established in the name of Islam. Pakistan ka matlab kya? La ilaha illallah. What does Pakistan mean? There is no God except Allah. Wa minhum man ahad Allah la in atana min fadlihi. Those who 
و تولا و ہم اور دون فاقم نفاقن فی کلو بہم الا یوم یل کون اللہ میں اللہ فربیٹ مے اللہ یو نو ڈلیور اس فرام دس ایٹ لیسٹ وی یو نو پرے ٹو اللہ سبحان و تعالی ناٹ الا یوم یل کون ہو ہی شوڈ گیو اس دی کریج ٹو گیٹ آؤٹ آف دس ہپوکریسی بما اخلف اللہ ما وعدوہ و بما کانو یکسبون 